Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Evil Mage and today I am back in SnowRunner. Today we're going to work on Lumber Mill Supplies. It's a lot of stuff to deliver, but I don't remember it being very hard. We are already, from the end of the last video, at a good spot to pick up the small pipes right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, store the crane, pack the cargo on the trailer, and now we're going to go pick up the fuel. Need two pallets of fuel from the gas station at the top of the hill here. We are going to go down to regular low, not even low plus, the hill's too steep. <laughs> For a long time there was a theory by a lot of uh, SnowRunner players that uh, torque was not a part of SnowRunner's physics. I disagree. Their argument was that it was entirely based on wheel speed, and once you lost wheel speed, you could no longer pull things. But, if that were the case, then instances where you stalled out in low plus, or even in low, you'd never be able to get back out of by shifting down into low minus. And uh, I have done that many, many times where I've stalled out on the hill by shifting into low minus, all of a sudden I can move again. So that theory's wrong. <laughs> Torque does play a factor to some extent. <laughs> but I don't think it's very accurately portrayed. <laughs> I will give them that. Okay. You...
We are all packed up. I didn't remember uh, getting that, and that would be why. Because I hadn't. So now we got XP for locating the trailer. Okay. Sawmill is right down this road. Okay. And if I remember correctly, the metal beams are the up arrow directly in front of us. I'm going to do something here. Yes, my trailer's completely full. Yes, my truck is completely full. However, I'm going to pick these up now and do a trick that I've done in a previous video. Actually, I'm not sure I ever, uh, uh, I don't know if I did this on a video that made it. I did this a few episodes ago, but I think that recording didn't work and I had to re-record. Second layer of cargo. I am very top heavy. Do not do this if you're doing a bunch of off-roading. This is only something I do when I know the path is very flat, very smooth. We do have a river crossing, but it is not a bad one. <laughs> and I don't plan on going very quickly. I do still have the cable hooked up on the crane to keep the metal beams from moving around too much. And I've brought the crane all the way back down on top of the beams to hold them in place even better so they don't bounce around. This works on the trailers too with these high side stakes. So if you have an extra pallet or something you need to get somewhere, this is a potentially viable solution. But it makes you very top heavy and you cannot use your winch. So use it at your own discretion. <laughs> All right, because I am so close, I am going to use my winch. I went ahead and detached the crane.
There. <laughs> Two fuel. Uh, small pipes. Jump back here. Can't deliver the cargo unless it's packed. But now that's packed. And now I can deliver the metal beams. Now all I need are the service spare parts. Go ahead and reset the crane. Where am I getting the service spare parts? All the way up to the service hub. Okay then. See how smooth that river crossing is? It's the only reason I did that. <laughs> if there was a rock in the middle of that river, I would have flipped over. to the top of the hill here. didn't realize my diff lock was off. Should have clicked. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. Okay, service spare parts.
Restore the crane. Repack. All right. One more trip down to the lumber mill. grab some fuel while I'm here. Stuck in the same hole. takes care of the what was it sawmill supplies <laughs> lumber mill supplies that was the name of the contract and we are all finished with it all right, so I'm going to end that episode, this video here. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. And feel free to subscribe to keep up with this or any of the other games that I'm posting. I hope to see you in the next episode. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.